Vehicles are headed towards suspicious X symbol. It's known as the cave. There's no windows, no overhead lights. The only light comes from computer monitors. They've got anywhere from five to seven different monitors going and maybe 10 programs, 20, 30 chat windows going on. At 1346. The cave is where Air Force imagery analysts work 12 hours a day for five, sometimes six days a week. They watch real-time video from anywhere in the world, coming from satellites and aircraft. They analyze the video to find enemy forces and provide a picture of the battlefield for combat forces. That means that we saved lives, we caught the bad guys, and we caught them before they could do something terrible. Watching the battlefield 24-7 is an important and stressful job. The Air Force Intelligence community knows running 10 programs while chatting in 23 windows is a lot of work. So they ask the question, are there more efficient ways to perform the job? The major focus of an effort like this is really problem-based. What kind of problem is the warfighter having? And the problems that they were having were things like overloads of data, overloads of information. The Air Force Research Laboratory at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is dedicated to leading the discovery, development, and integration of warfighting technologies. At Zulu the intelligence community asked AFRL to create an imagery analyst test bed and find ways to streamline their work. The drive was to establish a human in the loop test bed that basically allowed us to create an environment where we could try out various experimental processes, various experimental products, and see if they really affect human performance. Remember to give me a timestamp. Before they started, AFRL visited several bases and talked to hundreds of analysts to find ways to make their job more efficient. They took that information and developed Earnest short for Enhanced Reporting Narrative Event Streaming Tool. It features new tools like a video game controller and speech to text. 1328 Zulu. What we did was, for example, understand how speech to text could be deployed in an operational environment in a way that added value and did not distract from the work that they're trying to perform. Then it was time to test it in their simulated cave. I'll try to look at it. They invited imagery analysts from across the country for a week to test earnest efficiency while wearing physiological sensors. We measured things like their respiration rates and where they were looking on the screen. We measured things like heart rates. So that way, when we change something in their workstation, we change something in the way they perform their work, we could not only see their output performance changes in terms of how well and how quickly they were able to decipher something, find something in this environment, but also how it had a physical effect on them as well. AFRL is compiling the data and plans on inviting more analysts to write Pat for further testing. They look very suspicious. AFRL says the future goal is to embed this new technology in the field, to streamline some of the analysts' tasks, possibly saving more lives. Be a possible IED location. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Matthew Klaus.